Hey, all you YouTubers out there, this is multi talented Michael, and welcome to another DIYing with Michael. Today, I'm going to be making a personalized art smock for the son of a former classmate of mine. He has his first birthday coming up, and just like I promised I would when I showed that former classmate, as well as her mother and sister, a sample of my apron artwork personally after I had worn it to make a pound cake that day. Her son would definitely like one of my personalized goods for crafting, cooking, and the like. To do this, you have to have fabric markers, a light-up tracing table, and a printout of what font you want to use for your apron. Basically, the whole idea is to replicate the font onto the apron, which is why you have to use the fabric markers and the light table. And the font that I will be using today will be Waltograph, which, as you may know, is the font used for Disney, which is pretty fitting because... <laughs> That former classmate's son happens to be named Walter. Now, let's get started. Okay, so we have our font on the light table, and the first thing you should probably do is put masking or scotch tape on the font so that way it doesn't move around so much while you're working. And then you can place the apron onto the light table like so. You may also want to consider putting some masking or scotch tape on the apron as well, so that way that also doesn't move around so much because we want the font front and center on the bib of the apron. In this case, we have a smock, so I don't think that'll be necessary. Now, let's turn on that table and you can start tracing. Remember, just do what I do because the whole idea is to replicate this font onto the apron. It's a bold font, so let's make an outline for that first. And now that the outline has been completed, let's add some color to our apron and let's make it look as multicolored as possible. I'm sorry you couldn't see the whole thing since I had too much memory on the camera, but Walter will be so happy with his birthday present, and I'm sure his parents and grandparents will as well. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing, because you never know what I'll have up my sleeve next. Stay tuned, folks.